Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Takara, uh, Dean of the Graduate School. Now I'd like to talk uh, a few words as a talk, uh, opening remarks. So this is circulating this. And the objective of this symposium is to focus on sustainable development goals in Asia, which is the most developing area in the world in terms of population growth, industrial and agricultural development, and economic growth. The area also has many risks such as environmental degradation, natural disasters, and social instability. This time, we invited uh, three keynote speakers and two panelists uh, who provide insights about hot issues in Asia, our graduate school faculty members and the students, as well as the Kyoto University students, uh, will present their own research interests in relation to SDGs and discuss with the keynote speakers, panelists, and other pan participants. And finally, we'll achieve some conclusion how to further enhance human survivability studies for solving global issues. So, you know, oh, this is the eh, very typical uh, famous logo of the eh, SDGs. Uh, there are 17 goals and 169 targets under the goals, and all of them are related to human survivability. So today, how we, our research can be related to those uh, sustainable development goals. And this uh, shows the uh, Shishukan building, which was built four years ago. It was built in the, uh, February 2015. But the Shishukan program was adopted in the year 2011, December. And our Graduate School of Advanced Integrated Study in Human Survivability was established in April 2013. So this is the seventh year of our Graduate School. This is a very new, uh, newest uh, Graduate School in Kyoto University. Kyoto University has 18 Graduate Schools, and this is one of them. Okay. And what is Shishukan? I often show this, uh, the, there are uh, three stages of wisdom, mon e, shi e, shu e. Mon e is uh, just uh, wisdom by listening. So we assume this is the undergraduate school level, okay? And uh, the shi e is wisdom by thinking. So we assume this is the master program level. And the final shu e is wisdom by practice. So this wisdom obtained by practice is a real, true wisdom. So we consider such three stages of wisdom, and uh, we took si shu stages. So si shu kan is something like this. This is uh, coming from the uh, Buddhism, actually. And this is the uh, knowledge tree. And in the base, we have science or philosophy. And uh, the uh, research or scientific or philosophical uh, divisions are uh, uh, very much developed. And uh, something like this. And uh, there are many, many twigs. And uh, uh, we need some comprehensive knowledge. Holistic view is necessary nowadays. So I mean, the. We, are, we may be somewhere there, and uh, uh, we have to come back to this science and policy center to here, back towards the root from twigs. So this is uh, our idea, and uh, we integrate uh, the different disciplines to solve various kinds of uh, global issues. And there are many, uh, disciplines. Here uh, I enumerated eight disciplines, and uh, uh, we should integrate those who intensified each discipline. And human survivability studies aim to be 
studies uh, concerned with the survival of individuals, communities, and the individual society systems, as well as on their future development. So we'd like to uh, solve various uh, global issues involving, involving the cultures, industries, economies, nations, and the world. And this shows eight disciplines of thinking. And uh, our students run all of those uh, disciplines. And they will have such a, a wide variety of knowledge, and they will implement their own uh, deeper uh, research subjects. And recently, since 2015, we are uh, considering SDGs, and we like to uh, consider how we develop SDG goals or achieve develop, develop sustainable development goals uh, in our agrarian school by individual students, scholars, and also Kyoto University. And some company says, we are uh, stressing on number four, number five, number seven, eight, 10, 12, 13, 16 goals. How we are, we, myself, or yourself, or your organization, or your school, or your university, or your organizations. So let's consider how we are going to do now. And this shows today's agenda. Uh, we have three keynote speakers. First speaker is Dr. Ben Bohr uh, from UNESCO Office Bangkok. And second speaker is Dr. Nuki Agia Utama from ASEAN ACE. And the third speaker will be Dr. Nobuko Okayashima, uh, who is from JICA, JICA Executive Vice President. And uh, uh, between those uh, keynote speeches, we have two sessions. One first session is initiatives in human survivability studies. Second session deals with challenges and solutions for SDGs in Asia. And finally, we will have panel discussion. What can academia do for SDGs in Asia? We invite panelists uh, Charles Borico or Mr. Sepita uh, Spendi and our colleague Dr. Yamashiki and Dr. Kanamura as a facilitator. Then we'd like to have a conclusion session at the end. This is today's agenda. And in addition to this, I'd like to mention something about the UNESCO Chair on Water, Energy, and Disaster Management for Sustainable De Development. And uh, we already established this UNESCO Chair uh, last year, April. And uh, from this year, we are implementing six uh, educational courses. And tomorrow, we'll have a, a small side event, small seminar uh, with Dr. Ben Nobor, UNESCO Office Bangkok, uh, to discuss something about UNESCO chair and also uh, information exchange and discussions we will do. And uh, we'd like to seek future directions of our co collaborations. So anybody can come to this uh, meeting. And uh, it is only one hour meeting. So please come to Higashi Shijokan tomorrow if you have time. Okay. Thank you very much for your kind attention. I'd like in you to enjoy this uh, symposium. Thank you very much.